Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Another worthwhile moment. I decided to share with you another keto recipe that we have on in repeat in our house. My husband and my three-year-old daughter really, really love this particular meal. And we're gonna start with one pound of ground beef. I like to use the 20% fat, particularly just because that has the more fat to protein ratio. What you're gonna to wanna to do is thoroughly brown both sides of that uh, the hamburger, and then you're going to want to drain as much of the, the fat off of that as possible so that you're gonna be able to get a nice, thick consistency toward the end. After you've finished browning that particular hamburger, I add half of a block of cream cheese and you're gonna to wanna to just mix that in as well as possible. Make sure that it's, it's thoroughly mixed in. Transfer that to a casserole dish. Any dish that it is oven approved is gonna be just fine. And you'll see here that I'm really just spreading it out to make sure that we have a nice even, even area. You're gonna take three eggs, whisk them well, now I like to mix all of my ingredients in one particular item so that there is less cleanup for me. So you're gonna see in the next couple of items, I'm just gonna continue adding to this bowl. So after your three eggs, we're going to whisk and then we're going to add about one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now we really love the mustard flavoring in this dish, so I may have added just a tad more to bring that out, which is something that you can do. I have found the Dijon is the one that I like the best. It seems as though all of the other honey, uh, the one that's the honey mustard or the yellow mustard just seems to lose the flavor. You can't taste it. So the next item we're gonna add to that is going to be about a half a cup to a cup of whipping cream. That's heavy whipping cream. And I think it's, it's in between a half a cup to a cup. I really try to lean more so that I have that extra fat. Next, we're gonna be using some extra sharp cheddar cheese. And again, I really like the sharp cheddar because it seems to hold its own flavor with all of the other ingredients in this particular dish. I think I've tried it with a couple different other cheeses and it, it just seemed like you can't really taste the cheese, which kind of defeats the purpose of a cheeseburger casserole. So I always seem to go back to that extra sharp cheddar cheese to be the best. After you've mixed thoroughly and you're going to pour over your meat and cream cheese mixture and just sort of level everything out to make sure that it's all evenly covered. Next, I like to use pickles in this dish, and for these, I just had these little petite dills on hand, so I used I think six right here. You can use as many, you can use as, as little, or you can even use no pickles at all. And I think it would probably still taste just as delicious, but in this household, we really love pickles. So I added probably more um, than maybe the average person. But again, we really love pickles and we really love that, that flavor, that crispness that it gives to this particular dish. So you'll see here that I'm really just sort of spacing them out as much as I possibly can over the top so that every bite is going to get that, that dill flavor. Then you're gonna take the remaining block of your cream cheese and just distribute over all of your ingredients. And here I'm gonna take just a, three pieces of bacon, chop them up, minus a couple pieces that I've eaten. Spread those over the top. I'm gonna set the oven to 350 and really it's just so that you can get that cheese all gooey and melted and delicious. Everything else is really kind of on the cooked side, so you're really just gonna bake the eggs and melt the, uh, the cheeses. Here you can see I'm gonna add all of this to the oven, and we're gonna go ahead and set the timer for about 35 minutes. And you'll know once you look at your dish the cheese should be nice and gooey and it should have a little bit of a bubble to it as well. 
Here I'm gonna take it out very cautiously. It is very hot. And as you can see, we do have all of the cheese has melted. And I am just going to let this cool for a little bit. Now this is great with any sort of side. You've got asparagus, broccoli. I really enjoy this with um, a side salad, maybe even adding some extra olives to that salad. Uh, it, it's also really good with zucchini noodles. It's great on its own. Um, it's just a really good versatile dish as well. Here you go guys, this is the finished product. I added just a little bit of ketchup that's no sugar added ketchup onto the top. It is so delicious. And again, I'm just having a little portion. I do still partake in intermittent fasting. So this is gonna be my one meal for the day. This is so good. I went ahead and I paired it with a small side salad. Really hope that you enjoy this particular recipe. This is on constant repeat with my family because they eat it so quickly. Enjoy.